Hello again. So just going over a few new things. So now when we start up, we start off in the main menu world. I have adjusted some things with all of this. So with our maps and modes now, our startup map is main menu world and the game's default map is main menu world. Um, I also added a few more things into the input. So I've replaced some things, so interact is C. Um, going to be setting up the red vision for R, but our pause menu now works with P and escape now. So that has been changed up. Um, and then if I go into the first person and blueprints, I've utilized this brightness orb but I have also set up a new UI option, which I'll show shortly. But with the BP first person, so I'll just rename this to Red Vision because that's what we're wanting this to do. Um, but I adjusted some things. So with our flashlight now, it has a delay when you release of 8 seconds and it will automatically put itself away. So that's all been set up now and we also have our interact. So we created a new function called is grabbing object and we also added a physics handle. So with the input action interact, it creates a branch which checks if it is grabbing object. If it's true, then it will use the physics handle and release the component and set it to off. Um, so that's if it's released. And if it's pressed, we have a line trace by channel that tracks the world location, world rotation, and the forward vector with the first person character. And from there, it creates a branch, which creates grab component at location with rotation, which is connected to world location and physics handle, which is then connected in with the hit component with the break hit result. And after it grabs the component, it has it set on. Then we have our little object pickup loop. So with our event tick, which we snagged away from the wall jump function, which we are currently working on getting working. So for the moment, we took that away and it's creating the branch, checking if it grabs the object, sets the target location, um, gets the world location rotation forward vector for the first person character as well. So by creating this, we needed something to have that interactable prompt. So we started off with this very basic UI, which just has a canvas panel with the vertical box and an image that says C, so you know to push C to interact, with the text saying interact, with some lining around it just to pretty it up. So as you can see in the graph, graph is empty because we don't really need much else for that. But with our BP interactable, in our viewport, you can see with the default scene route, we have the widget, the cube and the sphere. So our widget is of course the interaction prompt and we set it to screen. So no matter what direction you're looking at, you will always see it. I also created this new tab which says red vision. So trying to get this set in stone. <clears throat> so if you push a button, then you will get access to the red vision, which is going to be this once it's all set in stone. So one other thing I want to show. So in our UI, we have corrected some of the settings. So if I open the main menu, 
once I find it. So got the main menu widget blueprint here. So continue and new game have been changed to open the gray box testing currently. But we also have that same thing set in stone. So I'll just close this off. And we also have that same thing set in stone for the pause menu widget. So every time we will click in restart, it was opening up main menu world test. Um, but now it's going to open the gray box testing. So if I now go back to the content and I find the levels, I'll open gray box testing. So I'll show what I've started working on here. So a little bit different now, as you can see. Oops. Sitting there pushing caps lock instead of directional buttons. So we have these nice little prompt boxes everywhere now. Um, finally put the light in in this spot. But now we have this nice little area. So we're utilizing these lights and created this sort of border of sorts, as you can see. So let's just bring our little person all the way back into the room. So if I just bring him back in here and then I'll just rotate him around to 90. So it's got this little area now and we have the table here, but you can actually interact with the chair as well now, which is pretty cool. So noticed a little textural thing there, but that's okay. It only pops up when looking in certain direction. So it looks like it's spaced, but it's not really spaced. So very interesting, but this does nothing at the moment. So just bring him back there just save all this. So you can see you can interact with this. You can interact with this shield. You can interact with this chair and you can interact with the blocks but you can actually cross this bridge now. So the bridge is being utilized in a new light. So it's a lot different now as to what it was. So I'll just show you. So we're in this set section. So we got our double jump and we got that line trace turned off, but you can see it's got the interact and you can now grab objects. But they are movable. So if I go into this little spot, which will be getting adjusted probably a bit more as well. So this is just a bit of an opening for the time being. So you can pick this up too and just, just throw it. So you can throw stuff now can't interact with everything so it's only certain things that you can interact with so we're slowly getting the little interaction feature just throw that away so you can see all this water now so creating a safe zone of sorts but you can actually walk across this now so you can't fall off either into the water but this is the base zone now. So might even set a form of hopping thing in here as well. But this is what we currently have. So we got our little nice little interaction thing and we can just throw them. Not sure where that went, but we got our flashlight as well. So I won't push nothing and the flashlight goes. So then you can just, you can still do this like normal, 
and sprint bar still works. So if you hold crouch, you'll of course crouch. And if you don't, then you won't crouch. So pretty standard. But that is it for all of this for the time being. So there is more changes consistently going through and you will see more of this area slowly grow more and more. But that is it.